Hello everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel DIY Repairs. Today we are going to see the working of an IGBT. It is very useful in repairing induction cooktop. Here is one IGBT whose number is written here. The first two number indicate the collector current. Here it is written 25. That means the maximum collector current is 25 ampere. This three digit after multiplying by 10 gives the collector emitter voltage. Here it is written 120. That means the maximum collector emitter voltage is 120 into 10. That is 1200 volt. The data sheet of this IGBT says that the minimum and maximum gate threshold voltage is 4.5 volt and 8.5 volt respectively. IGBT is a voltage control device. The rise and fall time of this IGBT is 20 nanosecond and 100 nanosecond respectively. This means its switching frequency is very very high. Let's look at the simple arrangement to see working of an IGBT. Pin is get. The center pin is collector and the last pin is emitter. Now connect this switch. The emitter of this IGBT is connected directly to the negative supply. This LED and 4.8 kilo ohm resistance is connected in series between collector of IGBT and positive terminal of 12 volt power supply. Gate of IGBT is connected to positive of power supply with 10 kilo ohm variable resistance. Now give the power to this circuit arrangement. As the gate gets 5 volt by adjusting this variable resistance, the IGBT turns on and this LED flashes. Now remove this gate bias. We see that the IGBT is still conducting in contrast to the BGT. This is due to the capacitor at the gate which remains charged until we connect the base terminal to the ground. To make circuit simple, we connect a 10 kilo ohm resistance between gate and ground. When we disconnect the gate pricing, the IJBT now turns off. That's why in any induction cooker, you will notice a 10k resistance connected between gate and ground. So before changing the IGBT in induction cooktop, never forget to check this 10k resistance.